We do continue to follow breaking news tonight in the low country where an embattled Grand Strand Safari owner is giving up his courtroom battle. Our Ali Espinosa joins us live in Charleston to tell us what he did today and also breaking down the punishment that he could soon face, Ali. Eric Doc Antle pleaded guilty today to a pair of federal charges, accusing him of transporting exotic animals and laundering money. Evidence showed the 63-year-old illegally bought and sold a handful of endangered animals between 2018 and 2020, ranging from lions, tigers, and cheetahs to a young chimpanzee. He then covered up those deals by making the payments out to his rare species fund nonprofit, disguising his ill-gotten money as large donations. Antle originally pleaded guilty to his federal charges after his arrest in June of last year, but pleaded guilty to state charges in Virginia last month earning him five years of probation and a $10,000 fine. His attorney tells me he's happy with Antle's latest plea, but wouldn't comment on whether his Virginia case had any impact on today's hearing. No, I'm not going to get into the specifics of how that went down, but, uh, but we're happy where we are. As for the case's timeline, I'm told we may have to wait a while before we find some real answers. We have to wait for a pre-sentence report which um, is going to probably take several months, and um, it will come back before the judge probably sometime next year. Antle could face up to five years in prison for both counts. Again, it's still unclear exactly when he'll learn his sentence. Reporting live in Charleston, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.